just like the Lord came. I searched far and I searched wide, but I still couldn't find nobody like the Lord. Nobody like our God. God bless you on today. We do thank God, amen, to amen, yes. this great men of God that sit here on the pulpit. Yes. Thank God for our assisting pastor today. Amen. Amen, Elder White. Thank God, amen, to Elder Rogers, to Elder Quick. Amen, just to this great staff of men that we have serving here. Yes. We thank God, amen, to our Board of Deacon Brothers, amen. Amen, that served us so well here. Amen, Deacon Davids, amen, our head. Amen, Deacon Jackson, first administrative assistant. Amen, to the Mother's Board, Mother Dandridge. Amen, and the entire staff today. Amen, and to the missionaries. Amen, Missionary Hobbs. Amen, and the great corpsmen of missionaries, amen. Amen. Can I just say to all of God's people that are here today? Amen. Come on, put your hands together one more time. Amen. And give yourself a hand. Thank God for our musicians today. Thank you, Jesus. Helping us usher in the presence of an almighty God. To the visitors, to the friends. Amen. And even to the members. Amen. It is evident, amen, as I stated earlier, that the Lord is with us. I said the Lord is with us. You just got to remain faithful to God, and God will remain faithful to you. Sometimes you're going to be up. You got to be faithful. Sometimes it might seem like you're down. But tell somebody, I shall be faithful. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. My God. Y'all have made preaching easy on this morning. The power of the Lord is in this house on today. I feel the anointing of the Holy Ghost and a mighty burning fire today. Thank you, Jesus. I just want to say one more thank you today. Amen to God for what happened. Yes, Deacon Jackson. Amen. Most of all, I give God the glory for what he allowed to take place on last Sunday. All right, all right, all right. I saw in action. Amen. Come on, give it a hand. That's all right. We witnessed in action, amen, what this church was founded on. Amen. And that was love. Love was shown, love was shared, amen, on last Sunday amen. in a mighty way, in a mighty way. Amen. If you missed last Sunday, amen, you just missed, amen, love in action on last Sunday. Amen. I don't believe no one was untouched, amen, without somebody sharing and showing them love. Amen. And to God be the glory. Amen. Can we give the Lord... Amen. And thank you, praise again for Deacon Jackson. Amen. And the entire staff that assisted him. Amen. Because, amen, something that large, amen, no one person could do. But it took, amen, a group of people that loved God, first of all, loved the church. Amen. We thank God for you. Amen. On today. Amen. For, for that sharing and showing up the love. Hallelujah. We thank God. Amen. Amen. First lady in her absence as well. Amen. We want to ask, amen, you just continue to pray for her. Amen. That God would touch her body. Amen. Thank God for First Lady Meritus as well. Amen. Amen. I just love God on this morning. And I'm grateful for His Spirit. That you continues to rain. You had the right song, Amen. Choir. He reigns forever and forevermore. God reigns. Hallelujah, Amen, Amen. We just need to realize that, Amen. When we find ourselves, Amen, want to go into a state 
about thankfulness, we got to remember that God reigns. That God is in control of everything. Everything. Amen. If you would go with me in the word of God, amen, to the book of Luke. Luke, the 17th chapter. Amen. 11 through the 19th verses. Thank you, Jesus. Luke 17, beginning at 11, down to verse 19. Shall we read the word of God? And it says, And it came to pass, as he went to Jerusalem, that he passed through the midst of the Samarian and Galilee. And as he entered into a certain village, there met him ten men that were lepers, which stood afar off. And they lifted up their voices and said, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. And we saw them, and he said unto them, Go show yourselves to the priests. And it came to pass that as they went, they were cleansed. And one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back and with a loud voice glorified God and fell down on his face at his feet giving him thanks, and he was a Samaritan. My Lord, my Lord. That 17th and final verse says, And Jesus answered, answering said, Were there not ten cleansed? But where are the nine? Amen. And God's word is blessed. God bless you, ushers. Amen. You may be seated. Amen. Whether you know it or not, y'all have already really preached this message this morning. Seemingly everybody that stood up said a little part of this word. It lets me know that, that God is on point. We in all the time. Amen. God is always on point. But I'd like to talk to you, amen, for a few minutes, amen, today. Amen. In the scripture, amen, throughout the scripture, amen, here we have privilege to witness the power of God in the lives of men. Y'all yes, just pray for me, amen, with me for a few minutes here. Amen. Time would not allow, amen, us to really recall, amen, the many things that God has done for all of us, which, amen, are in here on today. Amen. But I still want to encourage you, even in this, one thing that we should be thankful. But it is unfortunate that, amen, our society, amen, has produced a lot of, amen, people, amen, in today's time, amen, and an unusual amount, amen, of unthankful people. Yes, when I was growing up, amen, yes, amen, you know, we had, amen, many people, amen, around us, amen, whether it was in the home or out of the home, amen, they taught us, amen, that even when they would give us, even when it was a stranger, amen, when they gave us something, if we did say it, they would ask it, what are you going to say? What are you going to say? Thank you. I believe, amen, we're gathered here today, every one of us, amen, has something, amen, that we should be thankful for. Yes, today, so many complain, amen, about what they don't have. Amen, amen. We should be thankful and appreciative of what we do have. All of us could complain. Amen. As a songwriter says, my good days outweigh my bad days. Amen. As we remember. 
remember, amen, in the hymnal, amen, one of the most famous, amen, hymns of our church says, When up on life's billows, you are tempest and tossed. When you are discouraged, thinking all is lost. Mm -hmm. The song goes on to say, Count your many blessings. <laughs> Name them one by one. And it will surprise you when you really look and see what the Lord has. Do I have any witnesses in the house? We got to do this. Amen. Take, amen, a retrospect, a look. Amen. Back in the history. Back in the back door, amen, of our lives. Amen. To see where God has brought us from, church. See where we are now and then with an eye of faith. Look ahead to where God is taking you and I. And it gives you something, amen, that you really should be thankful for. Many times we, we need to be like the servant Elijah as he went up, amen, to look, amen, to see. He went up, amen, the sixth time before he saw nothing. Went back Elijah, amen, the prophet said, go again. And on the seventh time, he saw a little cloud coming up out of the sea. Yes, sir. Like the size of a man's hand. Tell your neighbor, if you keep on looking, come on, you're going to have to interact today. Come on, look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor, if you keep on looking, you'll see something that you can give God thanks for. My God, my God.
name of Jesus. And we dive in. Good God from heaven this morning. But before we eat, we ought to tell the Lord, Lord, I thank you. Good God from heaven. Here Luke is the only writer that records the healing of ten lepers as a medical doctor. He illustrates how the Lord encounters him with precision, with detail. He illustrates the Lord's encounter with ten men who needed a touch from the master's hand. Now, Matthew, Mark, amen, the same gospel writer Luke in the early chapter, amen, all three identify one man. One single solitary individual man who was a leper. Are y'all praying for me this morning? That came, that came, that came and worshiped Jesus. Saying, Lord, if thy will can make me clean. And the Lord said, I will. Amen. And he said, be clean. Oh, have mercy, Lord. Was, a phrase was coming yes, many years ago that fit our text today concerning not one leopard, uh -huh. but the ten lepers, amen. That phrase was misery loves company. Yes. That's what you can say about that pity party person yes. that finds fault in everything, what somebody didn't do, what somebody didn't say. Amen. Just because, just so 
that I can be the talk of the town. Good God Almighty. But I believe He allowed you and me to go through. Yes, sir. He allowed you and me to have these things. So that our life would be a testimony for somebody else. If you never went through anything, you would never have anything to give God thanks. Yes, if God never brought you out yes, of any mess, good God of mine, in a storm, then you might sit there and think that all of this is good stuff. Yes, it happened just because of who I am.
blood, sweat, and tears that it took here, man, young people, for you to go in and out of buildings like we do now. For you to not have to wonder if this restroom is for you or not. You don't know the price that men have paid for all of us to enjoy the amenities that we enjoy today. Somebody pay the price. Your mother, your father, your grandparents, your great-grandparents, whom you haven't met yet, but one of these days, if you live right, you'll get to see many that pay the price so that you can look like you're looking today. Dress like you're dressing today. Drive like you're driving today. Live like you're living today. But most of all, I want to return to the Lord. And tell him, Lord, I thank you. The question is, will you be one? Will you be one? A church where love flows because God is in control. A church where God is really real. Hi, my name is Dennis Rogers, pastor here at the Greater New Bible Way Church of God in Christ. I would like to welcome you to our services. Service times are Sunday morning prayer and Sunday school, 9 a.m. Sunday morning worship, 11 a.m. Sunday evening Pentecostal service, 7 p.m.